How's everyone doing? If you'll give me one moment here. I would like to discuss something with everybody, but first things first, let me swim up to the uh, shoreline of the castle here. It's not an area I've actually explored yet. All right. Now what's up here? Uh, Mire Lurk. It's not actually my goal, the castle. It's not right now. I'm trying to reach Spectacle Island up here. It's actually one of my favorite areas of the map. Almost out of breath there. Best not to exhaust myself on the way. Although this character does have a specific perk that allows him to traverse water and large bodies of water much more easily. Let's go ahead and dive briefly here. Bit of seaweed back to the surface and to the docks and the shore. All right, then. What I wanted to discuss was the future of my channel and what direction my content is going to take. See, I would like to explain something. The videos of my discussion series and character biography and the memorable NPC series, every one of them were created using a very specific format. The process is as follows. Surprisingly enough, or rather what may be a surprise to some people, was that I made every one of the original videos in those series with my phone, utilizing two different types of editing software or apps. And the process involved using a QR code to upload individual 30-second clips onto my phone, and then compiling those clips into a full-length video. And then after I'd done that, using a separate editing app to place text superimposed over the images in the video. And when it's all said and done, a 20 minute video of that type typically takes me I would say anywhere between 8 to 12 hours, depending on what I decide to write while making the text. It's actually a very time-intensive process. The longest video that I've currently uploaded, Discussion Series, Mark Hearth and the Reach, I consider that one of the two best videos that I've ever uploaded. But because that video was over an hour long, and because I followed the exact same editing format as before, that video in itself actually took me 17 consecutive hours to complete. It was very labor intensive. I'm happy that I completed it, and I'm happy that it received as many views as it had, especially compared to the other videos I have uploaded. It seemingly had a good reception, and I'm very happy about that. I'm glad that those that have watched it seem to have enjoyed it. But as I've mentioned already, it is very labor-intensive for me to 
retain that particular editing format in making my videos. And while I do enjoy uploading videos to my channel, it's not really something that I can do on a frequent basis. I can do so on a regular basis, just not constantly, at least not using that format. What do we have here? If you'll give me one moment, I want to scout out this shoreline here. Okay, that's a Mirelurk King. Anyway, my point is... Uploading videos under that editing format... On a frequent basis simply isn't viable for me. I do have a life outside of the channel. While I'm very reluctant to disclose many personal details about myself, there was one video where I revealed my first name and anyone who had watched it and, know, and do know what my first name is, I understand. That's okay. But the reason I deleted that particular video was because I didn't want everybody to know my first name. But I will disclose that I am a man in my mid-40s, age-wise. And I do have a family and a household that I need to take care of. With that said, my primary occupation and maintaining the household are my main priorities. This is really more of a hobby for me. If I can turn it into a sidekick, so to speak, all the better. But I'm never going to receive any sort of significant income from this channel, simply by virtue of the fact that I can't dedicate enough time into it. It's my hope that anybody watching this video will understand that. And it's also for that reason that I can no longer offer videos of my previous editing format on a regular basis. I still might do so on occasion. Simply if I have enough free time. But for now, I need to take another direction with this channel. Videos like this are far less time intensive. And it's for that reason that I've decided to take the channel in this direction. Because at the very least, I can make videos of this type on a regular basis and upload them more frequently. And my reasoning, or rather my secondary reasoning in making that decision, I also need to broaden the content on my channel. I can already tell that the YouTube algorithm seems to believe that my channel is primarily a Skyrim channel. It actually isn't. I do want to upload different types of content for this gaming channel. And considering that I do have another console at this time, it simply is viable for me to offer a wider variety of content now. I need to somehow convince the algorithm that this is not a overly specific channel, or at least not what it appears to be. So, with that said, I'm going to be focusing on content other than Skyrim for now. I do offer my apologies for anybody who has taken part in my recent voting poll for S it's clear that those who have participated in that voting poll do want Skyrim content. And also, allow me to clarify that I do not intend on entirely abandoning Skyrim content. For the two reasons that I've illustrated before, I simply wish to broaden my content. And... 
That's difficult for that's difficult for me to admit. At least generally speaking, it is difficult for me to admit, but at the same time, I feel that it wouldn't be fair for me not to mention anything before I begin to offer videos of that type on this channel on a regular basis. It is my hope that those who are subscribed to this channel understand my reasonings behind this. And if you don't, if for any reason that you feel that I am taking the channel in the wrong direction, that is your prerogative. I respect that. But that isn't going to influence my decision. I have to consider what is best for myself and what is best for the channel as a whole. And under the circumstances, what I have stated before is the most logical choice, at least from my standpoint. Well, with that said, I do appreciate anyone's willingness to listen to me. And I thank you for taking the time to do that. Alright. I'm going to end this video by killing that Mirelurk King. They're actually not as tough as they appear. It's their movement patterns that make them difficult to target. So what do I use here? Beatrice, Delilah, or Oksana? Oksana's the shotgun. Actually, you know what? Beatrice is better for better for vats. All right, let's see here. For anyone still watching the video, thank you for bearing with me. All right, plasma mine. Let's go ahead and lay one of those. Ready. Seems to be on a continuous patrol down that stretch of beach. Alright, set the plasma mine. I've readied the fragmentation grenades. I need this thing to follow a specific pattern. It's all the way down there, though. Aha. Uh -huh. Several Meyer lurks have showed up. Let's do this. Come on. Come on now. I have a feeling this glowing Meyer lurk is going to trigger that mine. Killed that. Killed that. Come on now. How'd I miss him? Come on, reload. It's going to take forever. Oksana. Alright, kill that thing. Reload. Oh, hell. Bastard ambushed me. Clever fellow. Well, that's okay. I've still got Beatrice, and she's reloaded. Stimpak. Stimpak. Got him. Okay. Ammo check. Soxana loaded. 
not falling. Let's go ahead and put two more shells in there. Beatrice, fully loaded. None of those triggered the mine. Another stim pack. Okay, I retrieved some ammunition from the glowing mire lurk there. I need to figure out where I dropped that mine, though. Let's just kind of trace back my steps. It's over here. There we go. No use keeping that there. Let's go ahead and scout out the stretch of beach one more time. There might be something down there. I thought I spotted something. Let's go ahead and take the loot from this fella. Very good. Alright. Well, thank you for watching. And again, it is my hope that you do understand my reasoning behind those decisions. I do appreciate everyone's interest in this channel. And it's already grown further than I ever expected it to. So for that, you do have my sincere thanks. It's because of every subscriber and every viewer that this channel is successful. So. Again, thank you. And if interested, please keep an eye out for any future uploads.